Well folks, the 66 Mustang is finally finished. At least it's finished to the point that I'm going to finish it. If you remember, this, this model project that I was working on for this 66 was really for me to learn some techniques that I had never tried before. So I wanted to try and experiment with detailing a dashboard, with doing flocking uh, on, the, on the interior carpets, for doing two-tone seats and two-tone interior trims, and for using my method of bare metal foil that uses just cheap aluminum foil and some Elmer's uh, hobby glues, like a stick glue. So I think everything worked out well. I learned a lot and why don't you come down to the shop with me and I'll show you how we finished up and then toward the end or at the end of this video there'll be just a five or six picture slideshow that you can see the finished result um, so follow me out this door right here and we'll go down to the shop see you there Welcome to the shop. I uh, have made some progress on this 66 Mustang. I have the interior tub ready to get installed. I did some flocking on the floor and it was the first time I ever used flocking and um, it, it came out okay. I'm not saying it's great but it came out okay. Uh, I got the steering wheel mounted, the dashboard and actually the glue is not dry yet. So I'm just being careful how I handle the how I handle this. The flocking that I used in in this came from uh, the model car garage. This is this is the flocking that I've used that I used, and um, it's it's okay. I I see other modelers online are using a um, an embossing powder, which looks like it actually might be. A little better this and I don't I think you could probably see it on on here this is kind of clumpy <laughs> I guess that's a word uh, I, it's a little clumpy and when I spread the glue out on the floor area I spread it out nice and smooth and I started to use the flock material on it and what I did was I put the flocking in a small jar like this um, I have I have some more left in the jar and then I just took it and and I tapped it and um, it, it did glop a lot it, it kind of just came out in bunches that I had to break up the, the little blobs um, the embossing powder that I've seen online that other modelers are using seems to be better or oh excuse me or different so uh, the next time I'm going to definitely try that. I've got a couple of spots that didn't quite cover right with it, um, but that's okay. It was my first time out and this model isn't for anything more than for me to experiment with things that I've never tried before. Um, so, so far I I'm okay with what this is. It's again, I I it needs, it needs some more work, but I'm learning and that was my key goal to this project. Um, I got the motor mounted in the chassis. I'm not going to do anything on the bottom of this because again I've done aging. You can look back at some of my aging and, and weathering. You can look back at some of my other videos where I've done that. Um, so I've got this in. I had to um, I had to cut the, the, the pipes because they just did not seem to want to go underneath. So I, I don't know that I'm going to join them or not. I mean, I can just by using a little bit of round stock. I can, I can just form that and do that. But I'm again, I'm not really that concerned about doing that. And I still have the coil wire to attach because I'm not sure where I'm going to put the coil in. My next step though is to get the 
wheels and tires mounted. And I have to shorten these axles because there's a lot of slop in the in the axle side to side side to side. So I'm going to do that. So um, let me do that. And I also want to start getting the body put together uh, so we can kind of move on. I see I see there's detail here on the fender on the inner fender wells that I'm probably not going to do anything with either. Because, again, I repeat, this was a model that I'm using to learn or hone my skills. All right, so I'll be, uh, you know, hang in there and I'll be back in a little while. So I did do the my version of bare metal foil on the body. You could see I did the, the trim parts here and um, this bottom trim. I did the emblem, the Mustang emblem on the, on the side in the front. I did the, the windshield along with the, the windshield wipers, which were all molded in. Um, but I did that all using, again, my version of the bare metal foil and the other side door handles. Did I forget to do the door handle? Nope, I didn't. Okay. I thought maybe I forgot to do the door handle on one side. But uh, the emblems again, the, the bottom trim, this little trim piece here, all in, again, my version of bare metal foil, which if you want to see how I do it uh, without actually using bare metal foil, uh, you could look at my previous video where I, where I show how I do it. Um, so it didn't come out too bad. The the uh, the lines on this body were not very well defined, so it was difficult just because of that. And also, I should have done probably a little bit of sanding and smoothing in the wing window areas because it was a little rough in here. Uh, but again, uh, like I say, like I've been saying, sorry to be repeating myself, this build is really a build whereby I am experimenting and learning different ways and different techniques. So I, uh, I'm going to be installing the glass. I'm going to be doing the interior tub and getting things pretty well better, pretty well put together. So um, I'll see you back here in a little bit. See you soon. Oh, I'm back. It's, it's actually the next day uh, from the previous clip and I trimmed the axles down so that I could get the wheels mounted so that they didn't have a lot of side to side. They still have a little bit of side to side on them, um, but I'm, again, not concerned about it. This is not something that I'm going to be displaying. Um, so I did trim them. I had to take almost a quarter of an inch off the axles. So you can imagine how far they were coming in it, you know, side to side on that, on that chassis. So I did that. I also have the interior tub mounted in the body, as you can see. And I have the firewall mounted in. I had a little boo-boo up here on the windshield um, with glue. Again, I'm not concerned about it because this is not a sh any kind of a show or shelf car. Um, actually, that, that I don't even know how happened, but it happened. <laughs> so anyway, but the firewall is in and um, that's all glued in place. So I don't have a whole lot to do on this anymore. I've got the front um, radiator bracket and holder. It's all setting off to the side. The glue is drying on that. I'll be placing that in the car. I'm pretty sure I'm going to mount the coil on the front uh, radiator plate or radiator ball. And... Um, We'll be getting this thing together. I got the rear bumpers and, and stuff ready to go. Rear and front bumpers and the grill work and stuff. That's all ready to go. 
So I'm hoping that um, within within a couple of hours, I'll have this thing finally finished to, to where at least it looks like a car. <laughs> okay, so, because uh, I want to move on to another project, to tell you the truth. Um, and I don't know what that project's going to be yet, but I do want to move on. I've had enough of this. Uh, but uh, like I said in the previous cut, I truly learned a lot uh, from from doing this particular build and doing um, you know some of the things that I've never done before I truly truly learned a lot from this build and it was a, a great learning experience anybody who's starting out in the hobby uh, or coming back into the hobby like I did after like a 50 year hiatus and um, wants to rehone their skills I think it's a good idea to find a, a cheap model someplace and just watch a bunch of YouTube videos and just start to um, experiment hone your skills I mean just just do do things that you're not afraid to mess up because it's all a learning experience so I'll be back again in a little bit with probably the final product okay and I'll see you again real soon okay well it's finally finished as far as I'm going to finish this and uh, it's been actually two or three days since that last clip but I do have the car put together it's it's as done as it's going to be and uh, you know, it, this kit um, did for me what I wanted it to do. I wanted to try and experiment with some things that I had never tried. And I, I learned a lot from this. And so I didn't care how it came out. Although it didn't come out bad, it didn't come out good either. So... Um, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, the, the clear glass, I I scratched it. I have a little glue on it. I don't care. The um, the paint job is not the best, but I didn't care. Because, again, I was looking at using bare metal foil, my version of it, for the very first time, for doing two-tone interiors, for detailing interior, for flocking that kind of stuff. I didn't care if I messed this thing up. And um, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty well messed up. But anyway, <laughs> the uh, it's a great kit for those who really are just getting back into the into the hobby. Um, I'm, I would not recommend this for an advanced builder. It, it really is is not really well done i i hate to say that because i like amt kits um i like most kits but um some of this was my fault so i don't want to i don't want to bash the kit uh no pun intended but i don't want to bash the kit because i did not pre-fit some things i was really focused on just what i wanted to do and what i wanted to learn i plan on building another mustang uh the correct way what i want to say the correct way but i plan on building one where i'm really taking my time and i'm doing things um without experimentation <laughs> the way i've been doing it so uh, i do plan on doing that but for now this thing is done this horse is going to go to the stable <laughs> and um I'm going to put this behind a closed door where nobody can see it except those of you watching this YouTube video and me. <laughs> so it'll be hidden in my messy shop someplace um, only because I think it was not very well done. Anyway, um, again, I learned a tremendous amount and um, that was the whole thing for this build all right so hey thanks a lot for watching this stupid thing and this stupid video um and this series on this mustang 
and I, I I'm going to be starting my next project. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking of a 41 Plymouth, which I have, or a 41 Chevy pickup, but I don't know. I might switch over to do an airplane. I, I have a couple of B-29s and some B-52s and a B-25 um, to do. I really don't know yet. I also have the Star Trek Voyager model, which I think I'm going to probably be working on tandem with my next kit because I I want to get some I want to build something that has some lighting in it where I can use like an Arduino uh, to to do some effects and an Arduino for those who don't know is a microprocessor board um, so I I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet so I'll be back in a maybe a week or so with my new project and until then, thanks a lot again for watching. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a like or a dislike. It doesn't matter. Either one helps the algorithm. And um, I'll see you the next time. Thanks again, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like what is what you saw give it a thumbs up if you don't like it you can give it a thumbs down but you know I would prefer a thumbs up and do me a favor if you really liked it smack that subscribe button and if you want to be notified when I release new videos give that bell a ring and set it to all I don't release a lot of videos so I won't be bugging you that much Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.